G'day viewers and thanks for watching. Tonight's video is about a board I designed and uh, assembled myself. It is a Sonoff and ESP32 friendly USB serial device. Okay, let's have a quick tour around the board. We have our cheap uh, CH340G Chinese USB to serial adapter. The, the clock for the serial adapter, the power circuitry, the LDO, the TX and RX lights, power lights, and a power button. Now what makes this device Sonoff friendly, for those of you who have programmed Sonoffs, you realise that there's no actual reset switch in the Sonoff, so you either have to Hold GPIO zero down and connect your USB serial board, or you have to connect your USB serial board, hold GPIO zero down while you plug in your USB adapter. Both are rather inconvenient if you ask me. Especially if you're like me and like to dabble with the Sonoff source code in Arduino and you're flashing the same board over and over again. The board has a 6 pin header, starting at the top we have 3.3 volts, TX, RX, ground, reset and GPIO 0. Re reset and GPIO 0 are not used for the Sonoff, they are used for my ESP32 boards which you will see in future videos. The power TX, RX, ground are in the same orientation as the Sonoff board. What makes this board Sonoff friendly and convenient to use is the power button. The power button is a normally closed button which means there's power running through it the whole time. When you press the button it breaks the circuit and resets the power to the Sonoff. The power button only resets the power to the Sonoff and not to the USB serial device. It stays running at all times. Okay, before we see it in action, I forgot to mention why it is an ESP32 friendly device. It has a 500 milliamp hour power converter. A lot of USB serial converters are lucky to cover 100 to 150 milliamp. And the ESP32 is a power hungry chip and it has a really sensitive brownout detector, which a lot of USB to serial devices can't handle. Okay, here we have the device connected to a Sonoff S20. To put it into program mode we simply hold GPIO 0 down and reset the power button and we have our ESP Easy flasher flash the chip. It certainly takes a while to program these ESP8266s. The ESP32s program at a lot faster speed. And we're done. Well, that's it for this video, viewers. Thanks very much for watching. If you wish to see more videos, please like and subscribe, you know the drill, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.